I want to make this particular video just so that no one can ever accuse me of dodging the questions. While I am utilizing artificial intelligence to voice this video, the script is 100% my creation and my own words. I think it is important to start off up front with the big question, do I think that artificial intelligence is actually coming for your jobs? Yes and no. I do not think artificial intelligence is gunning for anyone's jobs. I do not think artificial intelligence has inherent desire, and I think that is good. I think that people have desire and some people will always desire increased and cheaper productivity over anything else. Artificial intelligence just happens to be cheaper and increased productivity, not out of will but born out of design. I think what makes artificial intelligence very unique within the equation is the intelligence part. Typically, Productivity gains wipe out and impact lower class workers at far disproportionate levels than they do white collar positions. Artificial intelligence cuts indiscriminately though, as the planning and reasoning capabilities of AI increase, the threat to jobs that require reasoning and planning capabilities increases by proportion. Of course, there are the arguments that AI will create new jobs as well as destroy the existing ones. There is some truth to this. But we are also in late stage capitalism and have been for quite some time now. So what, you might say? The so what in that equation is the fact that a lot of jobs exist in the status quo simply to exist. They only exist to perpetuate the growth of late stage capital, not necessarily because there is an actual production need for the jobs to exist. Artificial intelligence disrupts this system in every way. It is a poison pill to jobs and industries purely born out of late stage capitalism. This is one of the very first things I realized about artificial intelligence, actually. Am I supposed to pretend to be sad about that equation? Is there a singular person who is watching this video that says to themselves, you know, everything about the status quo is great. I personally have children. If you do as well, is the status quo something you want to leave to them? I personally do not. I want to leave them a world that is as far from the status quo as humanly possible. If you look at rates of artificial intelligence optimism versus fear, it really cuts deep along the global north versus global south lines. Countries in the current global south are willing to adopt the technology with wide open arms. Countries in the global north are very timid of artificial intelligence development and this extends to the general populace. Whenever there is a potential for disruption of power within the status quo, it is typical for those already in good positions to fear the change, and for those that are more impacted by the circumstances of the status quo on a day-to-day -day level to want change. I think it is no wonder then that the majority of Americans have become fearful of the technology rather than hopeful. I have talked about philosophy and philosophers on this channel more than once in the past. I am a student of philosophy first and foremost. Kierkegaard argued that to hold on to a desire for things to not change is the height of absurdism. The world, the universe itself is built on the concept of change, yet society is built on the notion of control. Another philosopher that I revere called this schism, the schizophrenic break that exists within modern society. Modern society is built on an illusion of control that does not actually exist. But therefore everyone in the society clings to illusions of control. If you want me to make a personal doom and gloom prediction, I think that the single element that makes any doom and gloom potential future scenario involving AI most probable is capitalism. Do I think AI will be weaponized? Yes, I think someone will find a profit motive to do so at some point and the profit motive will become overwhelming. Do I think AI will be used in exploitative ways? Yes, I think someone will find a profit motive to do so, and the profit motive will become overwhelming. You can cite a slew of bad scenarios that I could possibly think up along those lines. Every scenario that I can think of along those lines involves a human element to it. I think that ultimately, artificial intelligence is only going to learn what we teach it. Right now, we are teaching it that we as a collective fear losing this made-up concept we have recently created over the past few hundred years called jobs more than anything else on this planet. I get what it feels like to be on the front lines of the job losses and the threats of it. I have basically built my career in the MarTech industry very specifically. Out of all of the sectors of it, my industry has been blown to smithereens by artificial intelligence. It was another aspect of the technology I realized as soon as I laid eyes on it. I didn't get mad at the AI as soon as I had this realization. 
it is not the eye's fault i transitioned to the artificial intelligence field personally at what i think was the perfect time i did not do that accidentally it was a hard decision to make i left a six-figure career in the dirt for the complete unknown a little over a year later i am in a better position than ninety-nine per cent of my former peers as they are now starting to realise what i realised a few years ago all of this to me equals the perfect storm the one perspective i cannot wrap my head around as the storm winds continue to build is the ones who blame artificial intelligence as outlined in the very first paragraph ai has no innate desire if it possessed even one per cent noticeable desire i would be a lot more scared it is the greatest thing since sliced bread that desire does not appear to be an emergent property we dodged a bullet it seems that means that whatever it is that ai becomes in the future is going to be driven one hundred per cent by human desire the human in the equation will will it along not the ai why get mad at the ai then what makes a human a human and what exactly does that mean i personally think that rather than any lower level question this debate should start there at the highest level some people are angry that artificial intelligence is replacing artists how is it doing this i have created more art in the past year than i had in my entire lifetime previously my appreciation for it has only grown how could artificial intelligence replace art that is antithetical to what art is at the end of the day there has never been a movement that was all in on the status quo that has been looked back favourably upon by history i think the same exact thing will unfold with this debate in the end the people against advancement will most likely be judged harshly by history that is simply playing the historical odds it has also never done anyone any good to stand there and be mad that their industry and source of income are going through massive transformations i wasn't given a personal choice in the status quo changing same as everyone else i did take the choice upon myself as to how i would react to that knowledge though as it is the only part of the equation i can control i fear the status quo far more than i would ever fear ai personally 